so what is the, the vibe like? Uh, it was very sort of standoffish and uh, awkward with Kevin and Bean both. It was funny when I when I I told the crew early on when I knew so that no one would be blindsided, and they didn't know that I knew that they knew. If that makes any sense, Kevin and Bean. That's so I'm when I made the announcement, too Bean, stone to follow that. Say slower. They didn't. They didn't know that I knew that they knew. Now I got it. So I made the announcement, and Bean said, "Oh wow, I'm sorry to hear that," and I said, "No." No, you don't get to do that, man, because I know that you know, because I know you were in on this conversation. You were in the decision making before it ever got to me. You said that? Yeah. And he was like, oh, uh, yeah, but I was, but I'm still sorry to hear it. And so that's, I said, this, this sets the tone now for this whole goodbye. It's going to be weird and sort of full of secrets and things that I'll never know the answer to. And, and, and I was, and I got, I got, you know, information after the fact from other people that there was, you know, that they were more involved or less involved. I mean, you hear all kinds of stories. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really fucking matter because I'm still out of a job one way or the other. So I decided not to really grind that axe so much. I had plenty of bitterness and anger over the whole situation. I wasn't going to start a fight with these guys. But early on, I got a, a, a sort of a very perfunctory, I'm sorry, email from both of them. And then after that, it was radio silence. Didn't hear anything. And then on the last day, they both once again said they're going to miss me, and, uh, and thanks for all the hard work. And, and that was pretty much it. 